What's going on everybody, Kwaku here. It's been a while since I've covered these insider preview builds that I'm about to take a look at. As you know, today's video is on build 21390. We're getting close to 21400 at this point. And um, it's not a lot in it. Mainly the reason why I didn't look at those last ones is mainly because there wasn't many updates like to really make a video out of to them, but this one has some visual improvements. Yeah, but this one has some visual improvements, excuse the lightning or the thunder. And so uh, I'm going to check a look at it and uh, show you guys in today's video. We are here taking a look at build 21390 again in the dev channel the latest stuff the highlight feature of this whole build is the task manager the task manager got an iconography improvement as you can tell right here it has a new icon um, and i'll try to zoom in on that one for you guys in a second and that's pretty much the highlight feature for this whole build is the iconography improvements of the task manager uh, what i do have in front of me here is two pictures these are the task manager before and after so you can see actually, you know, this is before on the right and this is after and I'll label that in the post. Um, so you can see this is the old icon, how it looked like. And over here is the new icon or you can look down and just see it on my taskbar. But these are the new icons. This is the new icon for the task manager. Now, one thing I did notice is I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like the Windows Explorer icon is slightly different when it shows on the task manager versus how it looks on my actual task bar like it looks like the blue is slightly like brighter on the task bar and darker on the task manager i'm not sure i'll zoom in and post so you guys can see and i'll be able to see myself to make a judgment but it looks different and i hope that it if it is different i hope that by hopefully sun valley's release whenever it is um We'll get an update of that if they even notice that difference, because that's one thing that I definitely did it kind of picked up after looking at the task managers changes. Now, looking at the task managers uh, icon change, you know, me being an artist, a designer, that's something that kind of really, really puts my mind like focuses my mind is when I see artwork in words of iconography. And with this being iconography, you can see that they got rid of the whole like kind of skeuomorphism of having like the monitor and the computer or the thin client next to it they got rid of that and just zoomed in only on the screen so you can see pretty much the content on this screen which would be here on the old one and just showing you the chart of the task manager and they flattened a little bit they changed the chart up made it a little bit more i guess normal of a chart instead of just a simple chart with bars going up and down zigzagging that's it they updated that. That is like the highlight feature of this entire build. I'm going to just say that now, but we'll look at the blog post just to look deeper. So the next thing it says is you can now set Windows Terminal Preview as your default emulator in Windows. And I did a video on that. I'll probably try to release them side by side um, so that you, I, you guys can see that, um, how to do it. And so that's the other thing there. This right here is not even really a feature specific to this build because I was on the old version. Uh, I forgot what the build I was running and uh, I was able to do this since I was, hence I was able to make a video. All it requires is having Windows Terminal Preview. And when you download that, it will automatically be version 1.9 or higher. Um, the current Windows Terminal that everybody has, the stable version is 1.8 or 1.81. So if you get the preview version, the Microsoft store, you'll get 1.9 and you can enable this. Just follow that video. I'll try to put a little link in the corner and in the description box so you guys can see that. Some other things, not too many fixes, just like a small amount of bullet points. Um, main one right here says we fixed an issue impacting start reliability and recent flights. I still have this issue. I've had this issue and mainly it's with Windows Explorer. I've had this issue with Windows Explorer for maybe like two to three months now on it's on and off it happens randomly i've had it so often that even when i restarted the computer for this update to come for me to get this update installed when i re-logged into my desktop i had the issue where my 
start menu and also all of my uwp style apps on microsoft store type apps would not work at all it would only work like my exe files and things like that that's the only things that will work everything else that came from the microsoft store would not work that includes launching the settings application that includes even changing your resolution because that is in the settings application i could not click on anything and i had to restart windows explorer again i have a video for that one as well so i'm not sure if um I'm not sure if they've truly fixed it fully, but uh, I'm still having it. And I know a number of you are too, because the video I released fixing it temporarily did decently for the channel. Um, so there's still quite a few people having that issue. So I'm not sure what it is. Um, another thing here says we fixed an issue in recent flights where a folder might not retain keyboard focus after being renamed in File Explorer. And there's not too much it says we fixed an issue resulting in Task Manager showing the incorrect icon for some processes and some other things going on some known issues they still have the windows at camera app issue that doesn't respect the brightness um they still have an issue it says investing an issue where search results are unexpectedly and no longer following the dark theme and then a news and interest feature or issue where investigating where the flyout may occasionally flash in the top of the corner of your screen after clicking the button on your taskbar and last thing to close out this video quick quick video um for the feedback hub uh, it says they're be, they'll be implementing in the coming weeks a change where you'll only be able to see the last 15 months worth of feedback in the feedback hub, which won't impact achievements, quests, and other things. Um, so you only be see that. That way you don't have like your beginning of time history and stuff. It's probably just save bandwidth and space. But yeah, that's about it so far for this build. This was build 21390. Not too many changes other than a minor, minor iconography improvement, which is the task manager. Oh, and one thing I just forgot, the MSI, Microsoft uh, installers right there. That's another thing that majorly updated, and this is it right here. So I picked a sample file that I have, Azure Connect Body Tracking SDK. This is the new... This is the new uh, MSI installer icon for all your MSI app dot MSI applications. When you're about to install, this is the new icon. For some reason, it still has a CD. Uh, I hope this is the new one, but for some, I think this is. For some reason, it still has a CD, but it does have the monitor in the background. You can tell this monitor looks different from the this PC monitor. So I'm not sure the difference there, but as far as I know, this is the new icon for dot MSI uh, files. So. There you go. That's pretty much it for this video. Short one to the point. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As usual, I'm always curious to see if you guys picked up any bugs or found any hidden features. I know Windows Love, a friend of mine, Windows Love, check out her channel. She has found some things as well in some of the recent builds uh, that aren't even listed on these blog posts. So check out, look at her channel as well. I'll list it as well. Take care.